Hi, my name is Kumar Aditya, and in this video, I'm going to explain you the working of MOSFET based push pull K driver circuit. So, here on my screen, I have this microcontroller generating the logic pulses, logic PWM pulses. So, output of this microcontroller is generating this kind of uh, repeating pulses and it is varying between 0 and 3.3 volt right so i have set the frequency of this pwm pulses to 25 microsecond so this is the time period 40 microsecond right and this node is being plotted here in this bottom plot so here you can see i am getting 0 and 3.3 volt output now output of this microcontroller is fed to this level shifter circuit and this level shifter circuit here, what it does, it converts the logic level voltage that is your 3.3 volt or 5 volt output from the microcontroller into some 10 to 15 volt output for driving your main power MOSFET. So in this level shifter, this is a logic level MOSFET. So this can easily turn on with uh, this a small voltage, right? And there and it is pulled to this gate driver supply through this one kilo ohm register. Now, I have named this node as level and whenever I have zero volt here, you can imagine that this will be off and therefore this 15 volt will be across this node. Similarly, whenever I have 3.3 volt here, this will be on. So this node will be pulled to ground and I will have zero volt. And here you can see this is the plot of this node. So this green red trace is this node. So here you can see this is 3.3 volt coming from microcontroller. So I am getting zero volt. And whenever output of microcontroller is zero volt, I am getting 15 volt at this node. Now this is the main stage. This is the push pull stage, and it consists of two complementary MOSFET. So this is on top I have P channel and bottom I have N channel MOSFET. So whenever I have uh, uh, 0 volt here, right? So this P channel will be on and N channel will be off. So now current can flow from the gate driver supply through this P channel MOSFET to the gate pin of the MOSFET I am trying to drive. So this MOSFET will now turn on and therefore load current can flow. So top P channel MOSFET is pushing the current into the gate pin of the MOSFET I am trying to drive. Similarly, whenever I have 15 volt here, this P channel will be off and N channel will be on. So now the gate which was charged to some voltage when it was on can now discharge to the ground through this N channel MOSFET. So this uh, lower MOSFET is pulling the current from this power MOSFET I am trying to drive. So this MOSFET will now turn off and current will no longer flow and you can observe it here. So whenever I have 15 volt at this gate node, I have the current of about 2.5 amps flowing and whenever I have 0 volt, current is 0. So this is how it works and it is very easy to implement it on a test bench. All you need is a logic level MOSFET which you can drive from the microcontroller output, right? 1 kilo ohm register or something equivalent and uh, you need two matched pair complementary MOSFET. So this, I have used PSS84 and PSS123 from NXP. You can find this, uh, matched pair MOSFET from other manufacturers also. So one main difference from the BJT based push pull stage is that whenever you have zero logic from the microcontroller, you get zero logic at the gate. So your output is in phase to your input. If, if, if I call this input and I call this output, then your input and output are in phase. But in BJT, you get complementary output. So if you have not seen the BJT push pull based gate driver video, I will leave the link in the description and you can check it out. So in that video, if you give zero volt from the microcontroller, you will get approximately 15 volt at the uh, gate pin of the MOSFET. So it's out of 180 degree out of phase with respect to your input.
And another thing is that, so in the BJT push pull stage, you have, let's say, gear driver supply is 15 volt. So here you will not get 15 volt exactly. There will be some drop across the collector emitter junction of your BJT, right? So, but in case of this MOSFET based push pull stage, you do not have fixed voltage drop. You have RDS on. And this RDS on is in milli ohm range. So drop is very less and you get almost uh, full gate driver supply voltage at this output. And see here, we are getting very close to the 15. So I hope this is clear and I will talk to you in next video.